as the UK battles with the ongoing coronavirus crisis, a silent army of shop workers are among the frontline workers who are keeping the country going. With little recognition, they have faced longer shifts, sometimes starting in the middle of the night, abuse from aggressive customers, face-to-face -face contact without appropriate PPE and risk to their health from customers who do not observe social distancing rules. Earlier this month, Tesco said that around 50,000 of its 320,000 UK and Ireland staff were off work, either sick, self-isolating or shielding, on full pay. Shop staff who come into contact with hundreds of people a day say they feel it is only a matter of time until they contract the virus. Laura works in a supermarket in the East Midlands and said that she is so scared before her shifts that she sometimes starts shaking. I'm not one normally to suffer anxiety but I'm getting extremely anxious before my shifts start, she said. Sometimes to the point that I get the shakes. I am scared. It is more stressful, as you have to remember to do the social distancing alongside working, trying to keep away from both other staff and customers, she said. I would say 85 to 90 percent of customers get it and are compliant. The others are totally not, to both staff and fellow customers. I am most scared of losing my family and friends foremost, she added. I can't imagine them not being around of them ending their lives early. I also get upset thinking that there are customers, we have a large older customer base, that I may never see again. It's very frightening. Another supermarket worker based in Yorkshire, Ewan, told BuzzFeed News that his hours had become more antisocial, and that he was starting work at 2am to fulfill online orders. My hours have completely changed as I normally work on the counters and as they've been closed he said. We've been moved around the shop, so I do online orders, so picking items. Normally these colleagues go in at 4 a.m. and finish at about 8, but we've been going in for 2 a.m. and finishing between 8.30 and 10. Mark is a manager in a discount supermarket in the northeast, and he recognizes the daily risk that staff are put under. On a day-to-day -day basis, I feel guilty, he said feel guilty putting the team in on the tills and to work on pallets when people are walking around them and you just feel sort of unprotected basically, even though you've got the PPE. You just feel a bit left out. At the start of the shift he sits staff down to catch up with his team, and he said many are very worried. Some of their fears are so genuine, he said. One of the girls, her husband finished chemotherapy recently. He's got no immune system, one of the lads, he's got MS, he's still working through it. Mark said that his employer has told staff that they can go on furlough if they are concerned about their health, but he said many of them recognize the important role they play during the crisis, and want to keep coming to work. He said that while the company is doing its best, the hardest thing that staff have to deal with is the behavior of customers, from those who forget to enforce social distancing regulations to those who are downright abusive. I think people generally forget sometimes, he said, we'll be walking around the shop they'll come up to you and say, can you tell us where this is? Excuse me? And they'll be close to you and you'll step back and they'll say, oh, god yeah sorry. But then there's some people who seem to revel in the fact that they're meeting up with our friends in the shop. They seem to be all look at me, I don't care about it. I just think, none of your family have had it then, have they? People's responses have been polarized, people are completely not bothered, etc, etc, don't care about all, or they're overly cautious about it. We've had some horrible people in, he added. We stopped people coming in as couples, it's all singles, and we've got a security guard every day, and he's had some horrible abuse, people telling him they hope he gets it, hope he dies from coronavirus, it's upsetting him. He has also been subjected to abuse himself, it's sporadic but when it happens it's quite intense, he said, you're stressed anyway, and when something like that happens it takes your breath away, you're quite shocked by it. We're used to shoplifters and things, but abuse like that makes you not want to go back to work sometimes.
Let's block ads. Why?